What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys today, we are going to talk about possible token market update coming up. And yeah, man, I'm sitting here. I'm hoping it actually does drop because as you can see, I do have a lower amount of MT with the stack team. And I have 1300 tokens waiting for the new Galaxy Obos to come out. And yeah, so hopefully a token market update does come out since it will kind of make us stop paying attention to the market a little bit and kind of start grinding for tokens. I think the market definitely needs this. So honestly, I think the market could rise if token token market update does drop. If it does drop, we're gonna see a lot of new cards in the game. They're gonna they should be really OP considering what point we're at in the game. But I could say one thing: if these cards aren't OP, we're gonna have if these cards aren't OP, we are gonna have like a lot of issues with the game because if they're dropping OP cards in packs, that means they have to drop. They have to follow through with OP cards in token rewards. So now we should be seeing new rewards very soon. Like, I mean very soon. We haven't seen anything new with the token market at all in over, I think, a month and a half now. So either today or tomorrow, we should be seeing something coming through. And not only that, since the market is so crashed, I honestly think they're just going to keep trying to make money off us. And hopefully they do end up dropping this because if they don't, I'm honestly going to be pissed myself because I actually spent so much MT trying to get some of these tokens and whatnot. And uh, yeah, guys, like right now with the market crash and everything, I think it would be good for them to drop a token market update to make the market rise a little bit more since it is super crashed. Like if you see the market right now, if you see Zion, bro, Zion's finally a buyout and it's on Xbox. Dude, Zion Williamson hasn't been a buyout all year and to see him at a buyout, it just makes me want to buy him. So like he's actually a buyout. Like I've been waiting all year for this car to be a buyout. And this one right here for 98k, he has uh, unlimited shoes, unlimited contracts, so I kind of do want this card, but I don't know if it's worth it. And also, right now, with this token market update, if it comes, I really think it will. Um, it might be like, they honestly might have a really, really stacked pink diamond board, and they still need to drop diamonds. And not only that, they didn't even drop amethyst in the new, pink di in the new token market update. Not only that, it's going to help people with a lot of tokens to raise their collector's level. So hopefully, we should see that coming. All right, so now, enough said about the token market. We're going to get into some market talk as per usual. And we got, a lot to we got a lot to talk about. And honestly, right now, what you should be doing, the market is still crazy crashed. And honestly, I don't know. Like, I literally seriously don't know. D Rose is going for 110. The new Giannis is 215. I think the new Kevin Durant actually just broke this market. Simply just broke the market. Um, all the new moments cards are dropping. Galaxy Opals are around 200k. Tracy McGrady is at his all time low at 180k. And honestly, I think it's all down from here. I think it's going to continue to crash unless they don't drop content for a week. That's the only way it rises. They literally can drop content. For a whole entire week. That is what I think they should do. But then again, 2K loves dropping content. They love making money. So I don't know what's going to go down. Um, also, if you have some all-star cards, honestly, I'm kind of scared for you because they did drop that locker code. A lot of bad things could happen to us. I really think stuff's going to keep going down from here. I just got Buddy Healed for around 55K. I think he's around 65 but uh, we're going to check that out right now. Wow, he keeps dropping. He keeps dropping, bro. So, yeah. Also, I've been noticing some tips. If you guys want to snipe, I would recommend doing it at nighttime. And also, one good filter I would recommend is the LaMarcus Aldridge filter. He is getting posted up a lot because of these prime packs are spammed. So, LaMarcus Aldridge is a really good play person to snipe as well as bid on. So, I'm going to go over it right now. He's actually a really good diamond. Of course, my game's got a lag. He's actually a really good diamond for the really cheap price. He's like really cheap. And he is the same exact card almost as 2016. So Diamond Lamarcus Aldridge. Let's check out his price. And I'm going to show you what we could do with his bidding and whatnot. And what we could bid on him for. What we could buy him for. He's probably going to be around 20k for a while. Then he's going to drop. 
But uh, 20. All right, yeah. So he's actually kind of expensive for a diamond, which is pretty good. I'm surprised he's not dirt cheap. So, okay, he's 28K right now. He has 99O, 99D. So what you want to do is, honestly, I would stay away from the buyout. You kind of want to scope out the bid on this card. You could possibly get some bids for the low. Uh, let's see. So actually, there's really nothing going on right now. Um, but another method, I would say, just diamonds in general. You kind of just need to know your prices. But since the market is crashed again, you can make a lot of MT. Like right here, this this K, this K love for 7K is definitely going to be mine. I'm going to get him real quick. Oh, give me that. Ah, uh, we got it. I think we got it. If we got him, we're going to make a solid amount of MT. And we did get him. I think we could sell him for like 15K plus. So right there is a quick dub. Also, this Kawhi is 167K, which is really, really cheap for Kawhi. Did I just see? Why is his offense at 94? Is that broken? Why is it, he has a 97.3 and 95 dunk? His offense at 94 and his other one's at 99. So clearly that's broken. Also, the new Klay Thompson. It looks like Klay Thompson is going to rise up to around. He might rise, but then he's going to drop again. But we don't know. If content does drop, you will see his price fluctuate a lot. Also, D Wade. D Wade seems like to be the wink, the weak link in the collection. I think D Wade's gonna go for a 100k buyout very soon. Also, man, Aaron Gordon, bro, is finally a buyout. And honestly, I don't know if it's safe to buy him. He does have 99 offense and 99 defense. Really good stats. Really good animations. I'm not totally sure. What do you guys think? Is he gonna go keep going down? What's the moves here? Like, I want to buy him, but I don't at the same time. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. What do you guys think? Please let me know down below. I just saw him for 90K. Honestly, I feel like that's a good buy. 90,000 MT. I could throw up a contract on him. He's really, really good. I kind of do need a power forward. But I don't know if it's worth it. I kind of want to keep my money for Galaxy Opal sniping. And also, supposedly the Galaxy Opal snipe filter is popping right now with the new KD. So I might have to hop on it. If you guys don't know, dude, all you have to do is go Galaxy Opal, put your buyout minimum on, and that's it. That's literally all you have to do. If you end up do getting something, you will make thousands and thousands of MT. So hopefully we do get one. Also, another snipe filter for you guys is Pink Diamond Prime Series VIP 2, I think it is. I think it's Prime Series VIP. Yeah, this is... Oh, wait. Uh, no, it's not this one. It is Prime Series 2. This is it right here. So D Wade just sold for 116, which is crazy. But pretty much, if anything pops up for 100k, you win. If you get, you can also switch it over between Galaxy Opal as well for the KD. So honestly, you can keep going like this. I think this is considered a refresh. So if you want, I would keep switching from Galaxy Opal to Pink Diamond. This method seems pretty deadly. And supposedly, someone told me. About another snipe filter, it only shows Giannis, Zion, and Kawhi Pink Diamond. I don't know what it is, but if you're watching that video, whoever told me about that snipe filter, please let me know because I do not remember what the snipe filter was and I kind of want to get it out to the community. Um, but yeah, dude, KD's going for 605. I personally think he will drop. I'm trying to get my hands on him. I'm kind of short. I'm short like 400 KMT. But you know what? I'm thinking about selling LeBron or Magic Johnson and then I will be really close to getting him. And as you guys do know, if you're wondering what LeBron's price is, he's 390 and I honestly think he should rise. Like, he's out of packs. There's no other way of getting him besides the locker code. And honestly, in the next three days, we should see him rise like crazy. These cards, not so much. But definitely the LeBron, the MJ, and Vince Carter. I'm just praying that they do rise. But yeah, honestly, other than that, I'm just hoping we see a token market update. And I'm hoping we see these Opals rise. But yeah, that's really all I got. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let's just all pray that these Galaxy Opals go up to at least... I can see Vince Carter at 300k at least. MJ at least at 354. And hopefully KD drops down to 400k. Because if he does, man, we're stacked and I'm getting him. I am eyeing him down. I need that KD. I will be on the Galaxy Opal filter all day. Hopefully I get something. Wish me luck. And yeah, that's really all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Peace.